This is another product that you can get from Cackle Hatchery. Uh, this is a Hova Bader. It's the Genesis brand and the Turner, automatic Turner that comes along with it, with the unit. Uh, you get a base made out of star foam. You get a bottom tray that you pour the water in for the humidity. And you have a floor tray that comes along with it. You have four clips that you clip the uh, tray to the floor. And that'll hold the uh, tray securely to the watering pan or the humidity trough. And that fits into the bottom. You have the turner which has uh, six different racks to it that turn automatically. This is the automatic motor that turns and it turns very slowly so you can't actually see it turn but it will turn them one way about every four every two hours. It will be a complete turn. There's a slot in this unit over here that's where this cord will come out. So we set the uh, turner in the base Set this off to the side. It also has a little thermometer to read. We want to get the unit to about 99 and a half degrees. This unit has a big window to see the whole inside of the unit. It has a uh, heating coils. It has a automatic thermostat to regulate the uh, temperature. So this is automatically controlled thermostat. So there's no regulating on your part. It will automatically regulate the heat. It also has a fan in there. So this is a circulating uh, unit. It will circulate the heat. It's got an automatic uh, heater element, so there's no adjusting to this. The top of the unit also has a slot in the corner. That goes over here, so this cord can come out okay. So the first thing we want to do is plug in the unit the heating element and the thermostat and we want it to heat up for about 24 hours so we want to uh, look at the temperature inside with a thermometer make sure it's heating up you want to be in a room with about 70 degrees and we want to do this or preheat it for about 24 hours to see if it regulates properly and you can look at the thermometer inside to see if it's regulating after the uh, the next day you uh, want to open it up and make sure the turner is properly set inside. We want to put the unit back together and then we want to plug in the turner and we can put a couple of eggs in the unit and then we can watch every two hours to see if it's turned one side to the other. You want to make sure when you put the egg in the slot, the small end goes down and the rounded end goes up. Now after we've done that and we're ready to, we've tested out the turner, it's working. We've tested out the unit. It's getting the heat and the regulation up to where we want it. Now what we want to do is add a cup of water to the base pan. So we want to put a, a cup of water, just pour it in the base pan. It'll kind of flow out evenly. We want to put the unit back together, the turner in it. We want to put the top back on. And for another day, we want to plug everything in and monitor the temperature because it's going to kind of re-regulate because of the moisture content in there. So we want to preheat this unit with the water in the pan uh, for about a day before we put the eggs in. So after that day has gone by, everything is regulating good, we want to unplug the top unit. We want to start putting the eggs in the rack. If we're not going to fill the whole rack with eggs, we want to put the eggs, kind of stagger the eggs a little bit like this. So we have a little bit of separation that will help for uh, air movement and regulating the heat properly. So assuming we fill this rack up, we have it with eggs, put the lid back on as soon as we can, get everything plugged in. You can lay your thermometer on top of the eggs 
and kind of watch the temp to see if it's regulating at right at that 100 mark or just a tad under it. Now that the eggs have been incubating uh, for 18 days, we have chicken eggs in there. They hatch out in 21 days, so three days prior to them hatching out, we want to remove the automatic turner and then lay the eggs back on the bottom of the rack and then not turn the eggs and just leave the eggs alone the last three days for the hatching out process. So, we would remove the eggs, remove the turning rack, put our eggs back in, and twice a week we want to put a cup of water in here uh, to make sure we have the proper humidity. We never want the tray to run out of uh, water completely, but usually about twice a week you need to put a cup of water in. So once we have our eggs in, we've taken the turning rack out. The last three days we're going to let them incubate in here and hatch out in the unit. We're not going to touch the eggs, we're not going to turn them. We're just going to let them hatch out naturally in the last three days. On the 21st day, they're hatching out. Some will be wet, some will dry out quicker than others. But we have several birds here that have dried out and they're all fluffy. So we're going to go ahead and take them out of the incubator and get them right into a brooder. So this unit can also be purchased from Cackle Hatchery. It's called the Hovabater Genesis Incubator with a matching automatic egg turner.